What's going on, everybody? This is VJ Hunt from the Hunt Family Farm. And as you can hear, I'm out here on the farm today. You know, one of the things that we appreciate uh, from you guys is having you along kind of in our journey. And so part of our journey comes with planning and to-do lists and things that we got to get done. And so today we're going to kind of give you our to-do list of what we need to get done, right? And then hopefully we get them done. Um, it, at the farm is a million things, right? Always to do. It's always something that needs fixing, always something that needs upgrading. And sometimes you can fall behind in it. Today is going to kind of give you a look at how I kind of plan for what we do when it comes to these guys right here. All right, all of the sheep out here, they're chilling, they're full, they're chewing their cuts. Right, and if you notice, there's a line. So it's a line where the grass is low, and it's a line where the grass is plentiful. Um, if you look at this, I put a temporary fence up here, um, and it, it's not looking the greatest. Um, and so one of the things that we're gonna work on is fixing this fence right here right moving it back to allow our sheep and our donkeys to get over into this beautiful luscious green pasture here one of the things that i really enjoy is when i get a, the chance to see my sheep laying down right they're relaxed they're chilling that means typically that they're full um and and over here it is some good grass and the pasture goes far back that way, but having them rotate over here would be an amazing thing. I'm sure they would enjoy it. Um, and, and it's gonna definitely make sure that they grow and continue to get the nutrients that they so need. In a couple of our previous videos, you noticed that, that it was kind of breeding season and our male was running behind some of the females because they were in heat. And so now they're kind of entering into their first try. Well, it wouldn't be trimesters because they don't, I think the gestation period is about six months as opposed to nine. So they're coming into like their first stages of being pregnant and uh, making sure that they're not stressed, making sure that they have plenty to eat, making sure that they, you know, they have all their nutrients is very, very important and, and vital in the development of them in their first, it's not gonna be a trimester. I don't know, help me out with that word, whatever that is, but it's very, very important. So we're gonna work on this first. Um, then I'm gonna take you um, on a journey, kind of look at the plants. We're gonna work out in the garden a little bit. Um, we won't do this today, but this is where we're going to start when it comes to the fencing. And then we're gonna go on to another part of the fence. We have to do some more fencing maintenance. Right now we got stuff growing up on the fence, so we got to spray it uh, to kill it. Um, we'll have to do some work with cutting down some trees or the little bushes that are growing that could affect um, the, the fencing and, and how strong the current is running through it. Because we do use electrical fences um, for the safety of our animals, um, as well as it does sometimes help deter predators. Uh, if they hit that fence and it pops them, they usually don't come into the pasture. So we're going to leave here. I'm going to head over to the garden. We're going to take a look at the garden and kind of get a little bit of work done there. I got, we got some grass growing up in our corn and we got to knock that down. Ah. There's old Jessica being anti, as ah. usual. She says she's going to chill inside. Don't want to have to deal with the warm weather so i get it jessica and millie chilling in inside so it's important um for the health of your plants especially like plants like corn as you can see we got a lot of grass growing in here so we got to get that out uh because ultimately it stunts the growth of your corn and the grass will take it over if you don't get it from around it so i've just been kind of pulling up the grass um Grass is one of those things that naturally just grows, right? And, you know, we have pretty good soil here, so 
grass is going to grow. Um, as you can see, we have some younger corn plants here where you see grass is already growing and some of them didn't come up and it could be because the grass robbed the corn of the nutrients. So what I'm just simply doing is I'll get to a plant and I'll just pull it up. That's what you know. I always shake the dirt off and I throw it in the in the middle of the row. And eventually it's it can be back back breaking work, but eventually we will get it all right. Okay, so after figuring it out and pulling up all of this stuff and kind of getting the rose, I recorded it and then I realized. I went to go check the footage and realized that I, well, I thought I recorded it, I didn't. So I'm gonna give you the finished product of what we completed here in terms of cleaning up uh, my corn. Um, I'll just give you a chance to look at it. So uh, this row right here is now all clean. As you can see, this is dead grass that I pulled up. Um, so we got two rows of it completed. Um, this row right here is pretty good. We got one more row to work on, which is right here, which we'll probably do whoa, whoa, at a later date. Um, as you can see, it does have some grass growing, but our corn is not, that corn is not, um, it's threatened by the grass because it has grown up a little bit. Um, definitely plowed this row uh it's still some grass growing and there's some grass still in there so we're gonna go through and we're gonna clean that up at a later date uh as you can see this corn over here is doing well the grass that's under it now will not affect it um probably should get it up but i don't think it will choke it out to kill it um just because it's gotten to certain height so yes yeah, so that is our corn our corn is very important very important uh, crop to us because we use it for both feeding ourselves and feeding our animals um, um corn is one of my favorite summertime foods uh, just because I don't know growing up it reminds me so much of summertime my favorite way to eat corn is fried corn um, and that's something that's a southern thing, I believe, uh, from North Carolina. So I'm a country boy. That's how we eat our corn with some kind of pork in it. Um, I've had, wow, rooster. <laughs> um, I've had uh, summer, well, well, look, lost my train of thought. Rooster, good job, brother. Way to throw me off. I'm trying to shoot a closing and he's still, okay, he's still talking to me. <laughs> I want you guys to see this rooster. Like he's climbing. You he think he's a king. Now he's running from me. He's gone now. Alright, well. It's another one over there. Okay. So anyway, um, just tell me, comment down below. What are you your favorite corn? How do you like your corn prepared? Um, some people just like it on the cob. I like mine personally cut off the cob put in the pan, you fry it, that's great. I did try some cheesy corn. So if you ever had cheesy corn, if you got any recipes with cheesy corn, have you ever had that? That's something I had not, it's rude. Something that I had not too long ago, I thoroughly enjoyed it, so I'm gonna definitely try that. Let me know if you wanna see me in the kitchen trying to prepare cheesy corn. Um, but that is all that we have for today. My apologies, I am a human being. And obviously, I did not record this gardening well enough. Um, so I can promise you our next video, I'll make sure I double, triple check that the camera is on record. But if you haven't already, like, subscribe, comment. I promise you we got that fencing video coming. That was, That's probably going to be the next thing. Probably going to be the next thing that we do uh, on the Hunt Family Farm is getting more fencing, getting our fencing done adding some pasture for our animals. But till next time. Peace out.